Some people may find this video offensive. Hey, Jimmy, come on. Okay. Whew. Oh, wait, no! Ah! Hey, there! I'm so sorry, Jimmy. Mm. Oh. Ow. Wrong. Uh, oh, hi. Hi, my name is Christopher. I'm a historian, and, uh, Today I'm going to talk about Harriet Beecher Stowe, born in June 14, 1811, Litchfield, Connecticut. Let's see. Yes, born in, uh-huh. She wrote over 31 books over the span of 51 years. Jeez. Um, her lost child married Kevin Stowe. Yeah. Mm. It all started when she went to the farm. The person she saw slavery. Ow! Ow! Uh, uh. What happened? Uh, oh, Jesus. Go back to work. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm. Ow. <sighs> of course. By the thing of owning black people as property spooked her a little bit. And, uh,. As you can see, she ran away. She she was really scared. The thing is, people call people people kind of thought that black people were property, and you know, racist, poorly fed, pro poorly, well, very beaten up, couldn't do anything. Of course, some tried to escape, but as you can see, some didn't. Make it far. Some did escape using the Underground Railroad. Railroad. Wait, no, please, please, please. Wait, no, please. After the encounter, she'd been writing over 30 books over the span of 51 years. Her most famous is called Uncle Tom's Cabin. The story is fiction, but exposed the inhumanity and horror of slavery. And, uh, so yeah. That is a canon. Although, all her things, all the, everything she did to try and stop it, she couldn't stop an upcoming war. Inevitable. Fire! Fire! Get ready! Load it! Fire! I really love donuts. What is donuts? Oh, Jesus. Oh, with the attack of Fort Sumter, the war is about to begin. Mm, the most deadly war in American history is about to begin. What? 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 You know, war, war is nothing humans can describe. Coming soon. Tooo. <laughs>